government warnings and scientific research on the effects of eating unclean creatures. There is ample data from numerous comprehensive studies conducted by government scientific agencies that confirm that the dietary laws of scripture are accurate, applicable today, and true. Consuming scripturally unclean creatures has been shown to be harmful to human health. Bacon, capicola, ham, hog, pancetta, pig, pork, prosciutto, sausage, swine, and all other pork products. A 2015 World Health Organization press release reported that consuming processed pork products such as bacon, pork hot dogs, and sausage causes cancer. Consumption of pork causes stress and internal toxicity. Eating freshly killed pork products causes acute responses such as inflammation of the appendix and gallbladder, biliary colics, acute intestinal catara, gastroenteritis with typhoid and paratyphoid symptoms, acute eczema, carbuncles, abscesses, and other responses. These symptoms can be observed after consuming pork products. Pork meat is infested with the microscopically small trichinae worm. Once ingested, the worm can lodge itself in the human brain, intestines, muscles, or spinal cord, causing trichinosis and other health issues. Consumers are advised to thoroughly cook pork before eating it to kill all parasitic worms in the meat. Yet even if pork is thoroughly cooked, people who consume swine are still eating dead trichinae worms. Shellfish, bivalve clam, mussel, oyster, scallop. Crab, crawfish, crayfish, lobster, shrimp, snail, escargot, and others. The California Department of Public Health has warned consumers not to eat recreationally harvested bivalve shellfish, such as clams, mussels, or scallops, from Monterey or Santa Cruz counties due to a dangerous level of a naturally occurring toxin that can cause illness or death. Dangerous levels of domoic acid have been detected in mussels from these regions. The domoic acid toxin, also known as amnesic shellfish poisoning, ASP, can cause illness or death in humans. Symptoms of domoic acid poisoning can occur within 30 minutes to 24 hours after consuming toxic shellfish. In mild cases, symptoms can include abdominal cramps, diarrhea, dizziness, headache, and vomiting. Mild case symptoms are temporary and typically go away after several days. In severe cases, a person can experience trouble breathing problems, excessive bronchial secretions, cardiovascular instability, confusion, disorientation, permanent loss of short-term memory, coma, or death. The Food and Drug Administration has warned people not to eat raw or partially cooked shellfish harvested from New York's Oyster Bay Harbor as they have been linked to cases of foodborne illnesses in several states. The FDA says that oysters and clams from the Long Island Harbor may be contaminated with the Vibrio parahamolicticus bacteria that causes cramping, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, and other symptoms. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports, Vibrio vilnificus is a bacterium found naturally on raw oysters. While it poses no immediate threat to most healthy people and can be killed by fully cooking oysters, the bacterium can be deadly in rare cases 
for people with the following health conditions. Liver diseases such as hepatitis and cirrhosis, diabetes, chronic kidney disease, cancer, especially during active treatment, AIDS or HIV positive status, steroid dependency, such as treatments for asthma or arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, stomach problems, including previous stomach surgery, hemochromatosis, and iron disorder. After the death of a 51-year-old man who had eaten Roy oysters, the Cincinnati Health Department considered recommending that all city restaurants serving raw oysters carry a warning on their menus about the potential health risks. Vibrio vulnificus, a bacteria linked to oysters, was the suspected cause of death of the 51-year-old man. Washington Platform, the restaurant where the man ate the oysters, already had warnings against consuming shellfish on its menu. Fish without overlapping shedding scales. Fish without overlapping shedding scales include varieties of tuna, flatfish, catfish, and eel. Tuna fish is a popular scaleless fish that has been improperly classified as a clean kosher fish with scales. Most people eat tuna straight out of a can. As the fish has already had its skin removed, consumers are not able to inspect tuna fish for scales and are unaware that tunas do not possess overlapping shedding scales and assume it is a scripturally clean fish because it has been ruled so by rabbinical authorities. Tunas have rudimentary, undeveloped, scale-like structures beneath the surface of their skin that are not clearly visible by the human eye and a relatively few minute scales, if any, near its head. Upon close inspection of a full tuna fish, it can be determined that tunas are a scaleless fish. The scientific research on tunas attests to the fact that there are health risks associated with tuna consumption. Tuna fish have been misclassified as a clean fish with scales, but should be considered an unclean fish without overlapping shedding fish scales. Tuna fish naturally contain various levels of mercury content that is unsafe for human consumption. Atlantic bluefin tuna, tuna sushi, has the highest level of mercury of any type of tuna. Several studies have determined that mercury from tuna can cause severe health problems for adults, including an increased risk of cardiovascular disease and neurological disorders. Radioactive tuna. Pacific bluefin tunas have been contaminated with trace amounts of radioactivity acquired from the Japanese Fukushima nuclear reactor accident of March 2011 that continues to leak radiation into the Pacific Ocean to this day. Dr. David Mock did research on clean and unclean animals and fish in regards to their non-toxicity and toxicity. Mock studied 88 clean and unclean animals as they related to God's dietary commands of Leviticus 11 and Deuteronomy 14 and found that the unclean animals were toxic and the clean animals were non-toxic according to his toxicity tests. There was a 100% correlation between clean animals and non-toxicity and unclean animals and toxicity. His investigations were published by John Hopkins University on the Bulletin of the History of Medicine, September-October issue in 1953, and was titled, An Experimental Pharmacological Appreciation 
of Leviticus 11 and Deuteronomy 14. Many government and scientific research studies show the toxic effects to the human body when unclean creatures are eaten. But rather than banning the unsafe to consume unclean creatures or informing the general public to abstain from eating such creatures, most government agencies typically tell consumers to cook unclean creatures well. While cooking may render unclean creatures somewhat less toxic, cooking cannot make unclean creatures healthy to consume. Job 14 verse 4 states, Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? No one. No one can cook an unclean creature and make it clean and healthy. Better meats for people to eat are grass-fed beef, bison, wild-caught fish, and lamb. God wants us to eat clean and healthy creatures according to his dietary commands, which were issued for our health benefit, for God knows what creatures are best for us to consume. So eat clean and be healthy.